Welcome back to another tutorial in the Corel Draw course for beginners. Now, in this lesson, we're going to look at the transparency tool in Corel Draw. Okay, let's look at this practically. So, I'm going to create two shapes, create a polygon, let's give it a color, and then a rectangle. There we go. So, I'm just going to place this below here, like this, or just place it over here. So let's say I want to make this a bit more transparent so I can see the uh, the shape that I have beneath. I'll come over here and select this tool, the transparency tool. And with it selected, you can see we have five options here. We have uniform transparency, pointed transparency, vector, bitmap, two color, and lastly, texture transparency. Now, one thing you should notice is that mostly in Corel Draw, the ones you're going to use the most are uniform transparency and fountain transparency. So let's use uh, the uniform transparency mode. So if I click on it, you can see it will make the top most objects um, a bit transparent. And I have this slide over here where I can increase or reduce the opacity of that object. So right now, increasing its transparency and if I take it down I'm increasing its opacity and you can actually do that from over here so it's more transparent click it's a bit more opaque but that's the whole idea on uniform transparency it works on the whole object reducing and increasing its transparency now let's select the unif uh, the fountain transparency option. Now what that does it app applies a gradient to your to your shape. So if I click on this slider this way, you can see I'm reducing the transparency as we go through. Again, you can change the direction of the gradient if you want to just by clicking and dragging. And again, you have the options at the top over here to work with. So you can change the angle from over here if you want, or you can manually just come here and make the changes. Increase the opacity. Now we're increasing the transparency. You can reduce it if you want. But basically that's how you use those two. So that's the uniform. That's the uniform transparency mode and the fountain transparency mode. Go ahead and try working with these two modes in Corel Draw practice with any image or objects that you'll create and see how that will work out for you.